a Texas lawmaker has proposed a bill that might nice a guy $100 on every occasion he masturbates. The bill also imposes a 24-hour waiting period if a man wants a colonoscopy or a vasectomy, or if he is in the market for a few Viagra. Jessica Farrer, a Democrat, is aware of her bill is not going to get very far. But she proposed it last week to make a factor and give male lawmakers a flavor of their personal medication. Farrah has long been an advisor of girls' is health in a nation that has made it extraordinarily hard for ladies to get abortions. And the bill, through pointing out a sexist double standard, is supposed to shine a light at the limitations women deal with in relation to their health care. Farrah's bill would penalize guys for masturbation because such behavior is a failure to preserve the sanctity of lifestyles and an act towards an unborn baby. Even the bill's name a person's right to no act is a jab at a pamphlet Texas doctors are required to offer girls looking for abortions. Lawsuit challenges Texas rule requiring burial for aborted fetuses. That pamphlet, a female's right to understand, has long been criticized for being faulty, ideologically influenced through faith and designed to discourage ladies from getting abortions. One section of the pamphlet says breast cancer and abortions are linked. Scientific studies have found no cause and impact relationship among the two. Farah said, we've got actual lives to deal with. Who mentioned that Texas has the highest maternal mortality rate in the developed global. And she's right the rate of ladies for those who died from pregnancy associated complications doubled from 2010 to 2014, according to a current study. Republicans have lashed out at Farah's bill. Tony Tinderholt in a statement said, We are embarrassed for Representative Farah. Her attempt to compare to the abortion issue shows a lack of a basic understanding of human biology. We would recommend that she consider taking a high school biology class from a local public or charter school earlier than submitting another bill on the problem. Tinderholt currently proposed a bill that would charge abortion providers and ladies receiving abortions with murder. Texas has pretty one-two punch to hold ladies from getting abortions. 1. Strict laws. And 2. Lack of clinics. Texas doesn't permit abortions for women past the 20-week mark until their life is endangered. Under that law, women for those who are pregnant with an unviable fetus are forced to hold to term. Moreover, women have to receive state-directed counseling, must have an ultrasound and a provider must describe the picture of the unborn baby to the woman. In the year 2014, as many as 96% of Texas counties had no clinics that provided abortions, and more or less 43% of women lived in those counties, according to the Guttmacher Institute. And since 2014...